Yeah, rule of life sounds like a tremendously old-fashioned phrase, but actually it can be hugely helpful to us. I think there's a couple of things to remember about a rule of life. First of all, it should be a sort of minimum, really. And by that, I mean it should be a sort of safety net below which we don't fall. If we try to put too much into our rule of life, all that does is actually increase our sense of guilt that we somehow failed in this target we've set ourselves. Whereas, in fact, a rule of life should be really quite minimal. Things like, for example, that time they might want to set aside for prayer and for spiritual reading. But it can also include things like how much money we want to give to charity and how much time we want to spend um, serving the community. But also how much time we want to set apart for our families and our extended families. How much time we want to set aside for relaxation. So it's a whole host of things. And it shouldn't be regarded as a strict regulation that we must follow but as, as a guide to help us to maintain a certain pattern and discipline to our lives and a certain shape, and therefore helps us in our daily lives with God. Christians need spiritual health as much as they need physical and mental health. And spiritual health requires spiritual fitness to service it. A set of promises which encompass different aspects of Christian life how we spend our time, how we spend our work life, how we study, how we enact our relationships, uh, how we witness to, to the faith, so that the rule of life becomes a personal commitment which we can check back from time to time to see whether we're keeping our promise Ideally, I think that this, this rule of life is, is best monitored in company with a fellow Christian, maybe someone who is experienced as a spiritual director or as a soul friend. Sometimes people will choose to have a common rule of life that they share. Uh, some of the Christian communities have a, a common rule of life, and that can be a, a useful discipline. Make it just sufficiently challenging that it squeezes you a bit, but not so challenging that you get disheartened and give up best to gradually tighten it year on year so so that it helps you to become more spiritually fit and it's a wonderful practice. One of the most challenging ones at Lee Abbey was to live in such a way that you would not say anything about somebody else that you would not say to them face to face if love and wisdom required it and I often think that if that kind of rule if you like or part of a pathway was part of church life then it might make quite a difference in terms of how people live together and relate together and how their meetings work and so on. So I see rules of life not as a a negative at all, but they're actually something quite freeing within which um, people can then sense the common purpose to which they're called.